so after experimenting, I finally got it to boot properly. So we'll have a look at it today and we'll see what we can do with it. It hasn't detected any networks or any CD-ROM drives, so I can't actually install any software on it apart from what's included. I'm not going to be making floppy disk images, it's pointless. We'll try it on another build. But for now, enjoy the video of Windows Chicago Build 81 in action. So I got Windows Chicago Build 81 working after all. Can't do much of it at the moment because I don't have access to the CD-ROM drive on it so I can't actually install any software and of course the network's down because it's such an old build. I will give this a try on hardware. But for now let's just have a look at it <laughs> under construction. Now we can put the start menu wherever we want. Look at that. <laughs> we can put it wherever we want it does lock into place at the sides and at the bottom and the top is it though but we can put it wherever we want also I think that arrow should be pointing up not down but I'm not sure if that was a mistake or if that was intended right clicking on my computer just gives you information about the link it doesn't actually give you information about the computer Wimber Create 16 Hearts Mode Windows version 4, copyright 1991. Control panel. It looks very Windows 3.1 sort of thing, but there are differences. System. Windows Chicago 4.00.81. Memory 62 meg, resources 67% free. Tech snap, A. Hey. Oh, you can set stuff like that through here as well. Well, the device manager looks a lot different. It's amazing. I haven't changed anything. <laughs> Display. Oh, we've got all the selections here. Chicago. Might be because of the low colour mode, but that's disgusting. Cars. Tile, please. Woo! They should have kept that. I think that's in the final. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think that is as well. Win logo, what's that? Oh. Let's look at the screensavers. Well, some things never change. Flying windows. Hmm. <laughs> Windows 3.1. No! Starfield simulation. They shouldn't have dropped these in Vista, by the way. They should have kept them there for the fun of it. Appearance. Oh, there is a custom colour picker thing. It looks like this because it's it's on 16 colours but let's have a laugh ooh ooh looks horrible of course there's no default there well that will do my briefcase looks a lot different I wonder if oh it can let us it can let us do that stuff it's gonna I'm probably gonna open everything in a new window yeah is there any way to tell it to never oh ooh, nothing there yet yeah. 
Is that some programs? No, we can probably access them through here. MS-DOS prompt. Clipbook viewer. Oh, it's just a clipboard. Uh, I wonder if... Oh, we got the games. Oh, they are the same. Yep. Yeah, with the standard decks which have been included for a while. Printers. Well, it has got a new printer option. Obviously, I haven't got anything that connected, but it did support a lot of drivers for a pre release, didn't it? For the time. Oh, you can't right click down here, by the way. Oh, you've still got that. There's no close button. Does all F4 work? No. Date and time. Multimedia. Can't play these because it hasn't detected the sound drivers. At least I don't think it has. No, it hasn't. Should we try it? No. Keyboard. Mouse. Huh. Oh, that looks a lot different from what became. <laughs> Feature is not implemented yet. Oh, check this because there. Of course, we don't have any floppies in. Oh, we're using 89 megabytes. Ooh. Network setup. So, yeah, overall, it is interesting to go and try these things out. Where's my new folder? Oh, I don't know, but it is interesting to try these things out and see how they will run. And we'll look at some earlier builds of Windows Chicago and some later ones. We'll, we'll try and get right through its development process. I won't do every single build because there's going to be a lot of similar ones. So it's kind of pointless just making a video on it when it's nearly exactly the same. But yeah, please enjoy these and I'll see you in the next video.